And guys, I don't think I've ever seen it this foggy in England, at least for a really long time. Weird. The fog from 90s cartoons. Well, actually, probably 80s cartoons. It's so weird. I can remember like a Scooby-Doo episode kind of looking like this when I went to England or Scotland or something like that. But yeah, it's a bit ridiculous. Hopefully you can see what I mean. You can barely see any light. Did not bike today. Took the bus. <laughs> I'm not that crazy. <laughs> More frightening things in England. <laughs> Very early start today. Woke up. 6.30. I'm headed to Munsley, which is a really tiny seaside town, and North Waltham to teach two courses today. No good. I had to be to Munsley at 9. Hopefully this all works out. i got to get the bus in North Waltham at about 8 o'clock. And my train should get me in. There, if everything goes to plan. Here we go. Uh, I'm on the train now. It is extremely early. I do have breakfast, the full breakfast, so hot chocolate and gorge. Yay! And a sandwich for later because I won't really have time. So I've got lunch for later as well because I'm running between libraries. So, yeah, so another work day begins. Yay! <laughs> to watch Westworld tonight but I forgot to actually watch Walking Dead last night because I think I'm disinterested at the moment especially since I knew it was going to be like a Daryl centric saviors episode and I don't tend to like Daryl episodes so um, I guess I'll be watching it tonight before Westworld and before Flash when I get home when I finally get home if I feel like it or I might save it for later in the week but it's very odd for me not to watch Walking Dead on the air day so I must be coming uninterested in it it's not been great lately, has it, guys? Mm. I didn't know Bart Simpson was so British. Have some tea, man. Don't have a cow. <laughs> so funny. Hi, guys. I finally got home from work. Started at 6.30 this morning, and it's now 7, and I've just gotten home. I feel, like, so dead on my feet. I just want to go have a nap, but I know I can't, because i got to eat dinner, and i got to have a bath, and... I want to watch um, Walking Dead and Flash and Westworld tonight. I really want to watch Westworld, so I don't want to go to bed because I'll miss Westworld and then I won't be able to watch it till tomorrow after work, and that's no good for me. I'm supposed to be doing the dishes right now, but I've literally just planted myself on the sofa, and I can't even be bothered to move to go make myself any food because I'm just too tired, and Haley's yelling at me because she wants more cat food, even though I just gave her some. So yeah... I'm going to spend the evening doing very little. Chris should be home soon. He's on a meeting. But he should be home soon. And then I'm going to relax in front of the telly and watch Walking Dead. And hopefully something happened because I heard nothing online about it. So I'll do a little review of the episode once I've watched it. Because last week's was okay. I was alright with it. I actually liked the, um, the Oceanside group. I thought they were kind of cool. I didn't mind Tara being the main character. It wasn't the most exciting episode of The Walking Dead. But it was a lot better than that stupid Maggie one the week before. So hopefully it'll be better. But I really can't stand Daryl episodes. So it's probably going to be really bad. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm watching Walking Dead. I got excited because Michonne came on the screen. I was like, ooh, ooh maybe this isn't a Daryl-centric episode. And then it became a Daryl centric episode. Um, we went to the Saviors, and now I just saw Negan, and he's really annoying me. I don't know what it is about him. I can't stand him. <laughs> I love him in the comic. I don't know what's wrong with this portrayal of Negan. He's just too comical. He's too, like, fake of a villain. He feels like he should be in a Bond movie. Ugh. It's annoying me. Okay, we're going to keep watching, because we're following the storyline for the comic with... Negan and Carl, so hopefully that gets better because that's a good part of the comic, but oh, I can't stand Jeffrey D. Morgan right now. I really can't. Can we please tone it down a bit because it's ridiculously over the top. Just too much. So they've just shown Carl's eye socket and really I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> um, the effect isn't really as good as in the comics because in the comics it just seems like he's got like practically a hole in his skull. Um, and this just is just black and like scarring and it's not very interesting at all. 
Um, yeah, a little bit disappointed with that because I was like, ooh, exciting, exciting, exciting. I guess they don't want to have to use CGI on it all the time, so... They've just went for what they can, and because, like, Carl, if he does, like, develop, like, the comic book him, he'll be wear not wearing bandages over it in the near future, so they have to do an effect which is easy for the actor to wear, I guess, so. Yeah, not as great as the comic. <laughs> well, the face ironing bit did not disappoint. That was so gross. <laughs> so gross and that was a good special effect if they can't get carl's eye right at least they got that right that was awesome um i have to say that just looks so sickening and oh poor carl for having to even watch that and daryl as well ugh, gross not a bad episode actually um really enjoyed that one uh negan actually started to act like negan from the comics at the end of it when he was uh hanging out with judith and that was kind of cool actually wasn't just this really um, cheesy guy, so that's nice to actually see normal Negan for once. So, yeah, not a bad episode of Walking Dead. Better than the last two, actually, I think. I'm really excited about Rosita and Eugene possibly showing some hanging out together. Maybe getting together soon. Yay! Hey guys! Mel here! I really want you to subscribe, subscribe, want you to subscribe, subscribe, want you to click that button below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe!